All right. What a strange kind of angle that is. Let's uh, see what we can do about that some other time. How's it going? It's me. It's Thor. We're here with you. Having a great time. Hit him upside his head with a tree. Here's another one. Ready? Nothing. All right. We're still mad at me. Good to see you. We're waiting on a few people. So let's. Um... You're getting to see a little bit different angle. I'm not really sure. Um, a new monitor, bigger one. Gives you a different view of my office, a different side of my face, or maybe it's the cotton cave. I don't know. But I feel like we're in a different angle. Can't place it. Hope I don't look distorted. Do you look distorted? Not. Oh, for three. How we do it? Couple of things, couple of things, couple of things before we get started. Remember, this is a um, discussion. We are having a discussion and that means that um, you are feel f should feel free to jump in at any time with what you think, feel, or know. There is a um, about a 30, 45 second delay. Um, not a thing. He's not doing anything. Right off his face. Nothing. Um, you can see that I need to clean my desk. What the... Uh, uh. Stop it. Stop it. That's not cool. Um, so we're having it. We're going to have a discussion today and it's going to be a great day. As long as Sandra doesn't make comments about my desk. Uh, that's actually the, the mouse pad. That's the issue, but nevertheless, I, I see your point. Um, before I do video shorts, I will fix this angle. I feel like, feel like the angle's off. But anyway, um, one more share and we'll be hauling the mail. We stopped in Genesis chapter 3 and um, good stuff there. Uh, thinkers able to finish two and a half chapters. I'm not able to do uh, three chapters. I'm not able to do um, yeah. Obviously, I take more time. It's the it's the um, um, it's the, um, ADHD thinkers task. It's the beard that does it. Um, yeah, maybe if I turn everything, I don't know. I just know I'm not happy. Boom. Let's roll. Mountain Dew is locked and loaded. You got it, Lestico. All right. Everything is just weird. That's off, too. Um, it's the music in your head. There we go. All right. We are going to finish chapter two. There we go. That's wider. Let's get wider. Let's get wider. Can it get wider? Ah, oh, it's not helping. What a shame. All right. We are in three, and we stopped with... Um, Remember we did the, I will put enmity between you. Let's go back to 315. Um, how does it feel to not be prepared? Well, it looks like this. All right. Uh, I will put hostility between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. He shall um, strike, crush, Strike is good, because it sounds like that could do double duty with, with bite. Um, he will crush his foot. He will bruise. He will strike your head. You shall strike his foot. To the woman, he said, I will greatly increase your... Um, I will multiply, multiply. I will increase, increase. I will greater, greater, or greaterly great your pain in childbirth. In pain shall you bring forth children. 
Hi, Thor. How are you doing, buddy? Um, missing me, bud? Come here. Come on up here. Whoa! What a big dog. What a big dog. Oh, you got a little separation anxiety, don't you? Um, nope. Okay. Not this one. Nope. Okay. Then you just sit here with me. It's We're getting a little storms outside, too. Uh, and to Adam, he said, and this is where we stopped. 17. And to Adam, he said, um, <coughs> um, because you have listened to the cold. Now, again, earlier today, earlier yesterday, we translated, um, what's going on, buddy? Why are you shaking? Um, yesterday, we translated um, the sound of the the Lord walking in the cool of the day. Uh, that word was coal. And so um, if this if this word is coal and last one was not, then we have a we are committing a translation foul as you usually will use the same two words in every section. Hey buddy, how about this? Your favorite kind of treat. Want this one? Okay, we'll just set it right there. All right. Good boy. We're not in an eating mood. We're in a scared of a thunder mood. All right. You know what you could be? You could be thunderstruck. Sorry. Um, so he said to Adam, because you have heeded the voice, because you have shamad, because you heard the voice of your wife and eaten from the tree which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Goodbye, bud. This is his favorite kind of treat. He has to eat it all by himself. Um, cursed is the ground because of you. Now, uh, cursed is the Adama. Now, remember, um, Adam came from the Adama. And so uh, the Adama is now cursed because of Adam sin. The man came from the earth. So um, the man came from the ground. Adam from the Adama. And so um, you'll see it right here. There is Adam. Well, you can see, it. I can't break the letters up. There is, there, uh, uh, how about I put it there? There is Adam. There is the um there's the Adama. Okay? So because you have listened to your wife and eaten from the tree in which I commanded you, thou shalt not eat from. Um, uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, no, you're not going to, you're not going to throw me for a loop, uh, Newman. I'll get to that later. Um, cursed on account of you. Um, in pain shall you eat in pain you shall eat all the days of your life. Um, thorns thorns and Thistles, both thorns and thistles. Similar to the condemnation Deborah makes as well to Barak. Interesting. Um, if, if, it, so this is a, so um, thorns and thistles will be brought forth for you and you shall eat the herbs of the field. Um, thorns and thistles, thorns and thistles. Now you see that our boy is, um, now that he's eaten from his favorite treat, our boy is, um, our boy's eaten all the different treats I threw at him. The floodgates have opened. Cursed is the ground 
It's going to bring forth thorns and thistles. And what does that mean? What does that bring for you? What is he crowned with? He is crowned with the curse of man. Again, it's, 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 it's not only that, um, it's not only that, um, if you eat of that tree, I will surely die, says Jesus. It's also, um, I'm going to take upon myself your sin. I'm going to take your curse upon myself. So the, 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 the curse of, of, oh, wow. The curse of the thorns is worn as a crown by the guy who takes on your death. Because of the guy who takes oh, takes on your death. So now the ground's going to fight you. I'm going to, you're going to be crowned with the curse. And you're going to eat the death that Adam's going to eat. This all began by a tree. Okay? I think I managed to get my um, my desk out of the... That's a bad... I need a new gaming mouse pad. Okay. Oh, that did it. All right. Um, by the, uh, by the sweat. And this is an interesting thing because it's, 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 it's translated brow, but in actuality, it's, um, uh, uh, first of all, sweat. Um, I think it's only, is that, this is the word that's, is it only used here? Yep. Only here. All right, so by the sweat of your nose. And so um, what, what would be really, really helpful to picture is that, um, and I don't think brow does it, um, face, eh. um, uh, but here this is nose. And, and what you should picture is, is Adam is going to sweat so much that it's dripping off his nose. By, this, by, 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 by sweat dripping off your nose. You know, like coming down your face like blood at Gethsemane. What? Another Jesus moment there. Um, he takes on this. This is his fall. Yeah, Septuagint does face. I'm aware of that. Well, past finger because, um, um, I mean, nose is usually part for the whole, but I, I, I like the, I like the, the imagery of it dripping off your face. Remember, uh, anger in Hebrew is your nose burns. And so here the, the sweat off your brow is the sweat off your nose, the sweat off your face. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't hate the, the, um, the ESV for going with the Septuagint, especially when I can read the Septuagint like it's English. Um, the Hebrew on the other hand, far more fun to read. Um, uh, by the sweat of your, uh, by the sweat off your nose, you will eat bread until you return to the Adama um, from which you were taken. So, um, because you are dust and to dust you will return, says the Septuagint. That's it. So, 
the earth, the very thing that I made for you, is going to fight you. And it's going to fight you all your life. And you're going to go back after working and the sweat off your face or the dripping, um, you know what I wonder, um, the sweat off your face, the sweat off your nose um, is going to do the, it, it, it just, that's the way you're going to eat. Um, it's going to be awful. For you are dust and to dust you shall return. Now, um, what's great about this is this is the Ad Ash Wednesday um, when the when the when the the stuff gets put on you um, on Ash Wednesday, that's what the pastor says. You are dust and to dust you shall return. Um, uh, so what would be uh, self-conscious about my desk now? Thanks, Sandra. You're all up in my grill now. Get out of there. But um, I want I want you to, to sort of take this. So the ground that you were taken from is now cursed because of you, because you heeded the words, you shamarred the, the words of your wife and not my words. And really, you vacated your office. So you, want, you went for being like God, but instead you have wrecked the whole thing. And the person who's going to really pay the price for it huh, is Adam 2.0. He's the one that's going to sweat blood. He's the one that's going to call, uh, be crowned with thorns. He's the one that's going to suffer and die. Because you didn't listen. Because you wanted to be your own God. Are you still with me? Um... So the, the, the bride gets it. She's going to long for her husband and her husband's going to rule over her and he's going to be a bad husband. Okay. Which he's already been. So she's going to love and care for her husband and he's going to, he's going to do nothing but bad to her. Okay. I'm trying to wrap my finger. I'm having a bad, uh, I've had like four surgeries on my finger and the last surgery is supposed to give me some use of, of my fourth finger for, um, I don't know, five to seven years, but I'm having, it might be the weather, uh, but I'm having some pain in it today and I wanted to wrap it, but I can't seem to get the stuff off. Um, and Adam called the name of his wife, Zoe, in, um, in Greek, uh, in Hebrew, um, and Adam called, and the Adam called the name of his wife Eve because she was the mother of all the living. So this is why Lestico was so very intense about us not calling Eve, Eve before the fall, because before the fall, she is the woman or the wife. After the fall, she is, um, she's named. That would be curse. Yeah, there's no way that calling her woman or wife goes well in the, um, in the post-fall world. That's, that's, that's all, wonderful. Um, he called her wife, but he named her Eve, right? And, and there's no way that this isn't meant to be um, part of the fall. And if you don't like this, if you want to get upset, I taught one time and in Chicago before I was um, called up there. Um, hey, Thor, where are you? Thor! Hey, buddy! I don't know where he is. If you get upset with this, or you want to change or tweak this, don't. Do not. Leave it. Let it be as awful as it is. Leave it. I'm not kidding. Leave it. Um, because this is part of the curse. Now, but if you think that this is the way this remains, then how could Christ 
fix death, but not fix this too. That's just something for you to sort of ponder later on. And, um, and remember that everything wasn't right pre-fall until there was woman, which makes woman the jewel of creation. Because there was that moment in chapter two where things were, were not good. Not good that man should be alone. Well, now the Adam has messed up the Adama and messed up his relationship with the um, Isha, his wife. And it ends with him naming her. The man called his wife, the name of his wife Eve, because she was the mother of all the living. Now, all the living flow from his pierced side, which I guess if we're going to get allegorical, because why not? It's fun. Um, Adam 1.0 is an absolute abysmal failure. And church 1.0 ain't too great either. But now all the living flow from the side of Christ. Our mother is the church, the one he died for. Think about it. Just think about it. I just did that on the fly, so if it's bad. Oh, I like that. Lestico, Luther said Eve was the name con confessing faith. Adam was just that the, heard the curse of death, but um, faith he has faith that Eve will be the mother of all the living. And we'll get to that. 21. Um, and Yahweh Elohim and Jesus uh, uh, and the Lord God made for the man the Asad for the man um, he made for her um, and the woman tunics of the skin of um, he clothed them with skins so the thing that dies after death enters the world the thing which dies after death entered the world is a sacrifice but the first sacrifice that's made is the Son of God who's going to give up his life as a ransom for many. And he clothes them as he clothes them now, as he clothes us now in the waters of holy baptism, washing our sins away. Making us, these are they that have come out of the great tribulation, have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, this next verse is fun. Let's put it at the top. And Yahweh Elohim said, Behold, man has become like one of us. Well, how has he become like one of us? So the goal was, you'll be like God. And now they're like God. Only the way that they're, their likeness to God is that they know good and evil. And that they also know that they're evil. They're on the wrong side of the, 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 the team. So behold, God, uh, Yahweh Elohim says, Behold, the Adam has become like us, knowing you're dying, Tov Vara, knowing good and evil. And um, lest reaching his hand, he takes from the tree of life and eats and lives forever. So, this is so important. What happens next is to save you and me. Do not miss this. What happens next 
is to save us. Don't miss this. Don't look, don't, don't, don't miss it. What God is doing is to save you. If Adam eats from that tree and if his wife eats from the tree in the midst of the garden, the tree of life, the tree of life for every good. Anyway, if they, if they do that, They'll live forever, except they'll live forever evil. And so they're cast out of the garden. They're ex-apostled out of the garden, out of the paradise, in order to save them. He does this in order to save them. Look, this is not the bad thing happens and God's like, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm stuck. What shall I do? What shall I do? What shall I do? No. No. The tree did what he said it would. It was the knowledge of good and evil. And the tree of life will give what it says. Life. But it's a life separated from God. Right now. Until he fixes it. And he's going to fix it. Her seed... And, and the devil seed, one on one with the great one. And the great one, on a cross, on a hill, on a tree, dies. To say. Yeah, it's, it's, um, look at, um, look at Finker go. He, Finker's so fast right now that while I'm at, he's like iron sharpening iron. And Lessa goes in the zone too, which is why this is a great study. Because these pastors are helping this average Joe pastor have a great day. So the, 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 I want to I want to I want to direct you to a couple of things though. Um, from the Septuagint, which you can't see. Now you can. Um, he he he, and so he sent the Lord God sent apostled him. Out of the paradise of, now, I, I want you to, to just understand this and don't miss it, okay? This is the word used to describe Eden. Truffe. Luxury, splendor, delight. The garden of delight, the garden of luxury, the garden of indulgence. And remember, he was given to watch and guard the garden of Eden. But he sinned. He despised that calling. And now he's sent out of the garden of Eden and luxury and, and, and we'll have fun, fun, fun till daddy takes the garden away. No, he takes... He's, he's, he's run out of the garden to work the earth, which he's already cursed in the previous verse. Which he's already cursed in the previous verse. Put that down here. Oh, you, you still can't see it. Oh, man, my picture's too big. I gotta fix that sometime. Oh, well. Thanks, Pastor Lustico. To work the ground from which he was taken. So, he was made Adam from the Adama. To work and to, to guard, to cherish the garden which the Lord God... Um, Put him in, but he despised it. He wanted to be God, and now he's working the ground. He's working the ground. Chappie, good to see you. I own, I owe Rick, Rick Towns um, so much in the short time that I got to serve him as his pastor while he was um, at a, at a, um, at a base, you know, here's this um, lieutenant colonel. Lieutenant colonel, right, Towns? 
and I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got such gifts from him. Um, everybody in your life is gift to you. They're not there accidentally. They're there, they're they're there as gift. And Towns has been a gift to me, even when he mocks me in Bible class. So, behold, man's coming like one of us. He knows good and evil, and not unless he reach out and take the 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 garden, take from the garden of Eden. Uh, I'm sorry, unless he t- reach out and take the the tree of life and eat, and have life forever separated from me, hiding from me. Jesus apostles him out of the garden to work the ground from which he was taken. For you are dust, and to dust you shall return. And he drove the Adam out. And at the east of the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Luxury, the Paradise of Luxury, he placed the cherubim and a flaming sword with a flaming sword that turned to and fro. So you get this idea that this, 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 um, flaming sword is turned over and over upon itself. It's a hith, um, hith pile. Um, so, so like the, the, ch- the, the, the cherubim, I always get the picture of the sort of the, and, and they can correct me on this, but I always get the picture of the cherubim. It's like swinging a sword. He's, and the sword is what drives out the, the, um, um, And 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 the and the and the and the cherubim is there to guard the way to life. Which, if they were to take it, earn it, seize it right now, would be for them eternal death. It's an odd thing. Um yeah, there could be um, multiple. That's weird. Um, I, I'm not. Um, I, I don't know about this one, Pastor Finker. So this could be like um, the same Elohim is, even though it's a plural form, it's singular. But I need more cherubim research on that. Um, to guard the way of eternal life. Now I want. I want to take note of this word shamar, which was used earlier in what um, in what Adam was told to do to the garden. So it was Adam's job to work and to guard, keep. Um, and this is back in chapter two. Um, it was his job to guard and keep the garden. The garden of luxury, the garden of Eden, the garden of delight. And now, the entrance to the garden, the paradise of life, Eden, is guarded by um, by somebody else. Now, one of these, the meanings of of, of smar is to um, is to observe or keep, and this is the verb that's used oftentimes with keep the commandments, but, but it's it, it it doesn't mean obey. Um, it doesn't. That's why it's usually translated philoso, guard. Protect, hold dear. I like that. And here, the the angel is doing the same thing. He is guarding them from death by keeping them from the tree of life. The tree of life that was gift to them until they sinned. And now it's deadly. All right. Thoughts, questions, anything? And the Adam, 
this magic moment. Yada, he knew. So, and Adam. Knew his wife, Eve. And she conceived and born and bore Cain and said, I have gotten, I have acquired, I have created. I have possessed. A man, the Yahweh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to take a second here for a second, and we have to talk about this. Adam knew his wife, and she uh, uh, knew in a biblical sense, knew in the sense of intimate way, knew in a biblical way, and um, she bore Cain. And said, I have acquired or procured for myself. What's interesting is the Septuagint may get it wrong here. I have acquired a man through the God. That's what the Septuagint says. But the Hebrew is, I have acquired a man, the Yahweh. Um. I do not believe that this means um, I have acquired a man from the Lord. I think a lot of, uh, and we see it here in the, in the, um, to understand this story properly, we have to understand this. So Adam knows Eve. She conceives and bears Cain. I have gotten a man, the Lord. Um, I do not believe it's I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord, although that's faithful to the Septuagint. I don't think that's the best translation of this. I think you should leave it the way it is because what it communicates is what Adam and Eve actually thought. So death has come into the world through sin. And they had all this death talk in the previous chapter. And there was all this death overtones. And they were booted, uh, apostled out of the garden, and the whole purpose of their being booted out of the garden was to save them. In fact, God was doing everything to save them. Everything he had going on, he was doing to save him. Thor's at work. Hey, buddy, what's going on? So everything that's going on is to save them. And so then she has in her mind that one of her seed, her seed, is going to go one-on-one -on -one with the serpent seed. And he will strike his head, the serpent seed's head, but himself will be struck in the foot. I like uh, Finker here. To know is the verb used for uh, that when everything is going well in a relationship. The other cruder euph euphemisms are for not good relationships. So in her mind is that promise that God was going to fix it. And that one of her seed is going gonna, is gonna to strike the serpent's head but himself be struck on the foot. And so she gives birth to Cain. And she's like, I have required the man, the Lord. I've got the Lord. I've given birth to Jesus, the Son of God. I don't think it's Jesus, but it's definitely Yahweh. I'm giving birth to Yahweh. Yahweh's born. So, Borkar doesn't have to be wrong that that 
that that pre-incarnate Jesus is making an appearance because Eve right now believes that she sees it. This guy's going to fix it. And she brought forth um, his brother, Abel. Um, this is really, 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 really important. Cain, I've acquired a man, the Lord, Abel, whose name means breath. If you're going to understand what happens here with the first family and how it all goes to, to um, literally hell in a handbasket, you have to understand their mindset. She thought that she had just given birth to the Savior of the world. That it was going to be fixed in her lifetime. Like all abusers, they go to counseling one time and they're like, oh, everything's great. I'm, I'm, I'm the best in my class. I got a gold star. Come back to me. So Cain was all of that. Gift. Savior of the world. Come here, boy. Not over there. So Cain was going to fix everything. Oh, and Abel. There's the heir. And there's the spare. Um, now, Abel was... Um, was a keeper of sheep. He was a he was a shepherd. Small sheep. And Cain was um, he worked the Adama. So Cain worked in in dad's profession. And Abel kept sheep. And it's all teed up. Fresh out of the fall. Two boys. One who's going to fix everything. And the other one. And it happened throughout the days uh, from uh, the Cain brought his the fruit of his offering to the Lord um, and Abel um, brought his from the firstborn of his sheep and And of their fat portions. Sorry, I had to look up the term for fat portions. I'll give you the text again. So, um, Abel, Cain brings the Lord an offering of fruit from the ground. Of the fruit of the ground that he's grown. An offering, an offering. But Abel, brings the firstborn of his flock and their fat portions. And the Lord um, looked on looked at 
had regard for, um, took an interest in Abel's offering. Uh, but for Cain and his offering, he had no, he didn't, he did, didn't, he didn't make his pupils get, it's all teed up for utter and complete failure. And now Snowflake Cain, who's been told that he is it is met with a God who you're not it. And there seems to be a little bit of an implication here that, that um, at least in my reading, but I'm, I'm happy to be called a repentant, that Cain got around to his offering while Abel gave first. Verse 5. And so, Cain, um, he was angry. He burned. Um, uh, he, he burned mightily. Uh, 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 and, his, and his face fell. Okay? So, he sees it. He sees it. And Yahweh said to Cain, Why? Why are you angry? And why is your face fallen? Very, very Hebrew. Very, very Hebrew. Say it, repeat it. So, say it and repeat it. He got angry, and his face fell. And the Lord says, why are you angry? And why is your face falling? If you do good... Tov, Yatov. Won't it, um, will you not be accepted? If you do good, won't it go well? And if you don't do good, Sin. Uh oh. Sin. It's it's lying for you. Um it's crouching at the door and it's it's desire is contrary to you. And there it is again. You must have dominion over it. The same word that was used for Eve. Your desire will be for your husband, but it will rule over you. Is what's used here. Your desire is that sin is crouching at your door. If you do well, will it not go well for you? And if not, uh, sin is, 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 is sort of ready to pounce on you. And you must rule it. Gotta get control of it. This is going to end poorly tomorrow. But it is set up Perfectly. It is teed up perfectly. A son who is everything, 
whose mom believes is is God is the Lord God himself who's going to save us from everything that they've done. Another son who's just a brat. The one son bring gets to his offering from the ground. The other son gives the first fruits of his flock. This is going to go so poorly tomorrow. Have a great day. You hear him? Somebody's at the door. Have a great day. Tomorrow we will do Genesis 4 and we will get into 5. We'll catch up on our speed stuff. But but um, the shepherd is going to get struck. His blood is going to call out from the ground. That's tomorrow. Have a great day. We'll see you.